Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to use the flip-flop node. Let's get started. So this node has one input and three outputs. The input is an execution pin and the two outputs are the A execution pin and the B execution pin. And this node is a macro, so it can be used in any blueprint. So how this works is that when you run the flip-flop node for the first time, it will execute the A pin. When you run it a second time, it will switch to the B pin. And then it will switch to the A pin, and so on and so forth. So the isA value will be true if it's running the A execution pin. And when it switches to B, then this value becomes false. So here I have a simple example. When I press A on my keyboard, the flip-flop node will be run, and it will first execute the A pin, which will run the print string that prints ran A. And when I run the flip-flop node again for the second time, then it will execute the B pin, which will print ran B. So let's see how this works. When I run the game, and I'm going to minimize this window. So when I press A for the first time, it will run the flip-flop and it will first start with A and it will print run A. When I press it a second time, it will run the B pin and it's going to print run B. And it will switch between the two every time I run flip-flop node. So that's how the flip-flop node works. Now I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. And if you have any suggestions on what future tutorials I should make, please comment as well. Also, please feel free to check out my Patreon page in the link below. Don't forget to like, share, and most of all, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. See you soon!